All right, so now that we have this on our plane, we're going to go ahead and start making the white lines. So now we're going to do an all one emboss. All right. So we got the outside of the camera going right now. Um, what we want to do now is we want to uh, make the first circle within there. Let's go ahead and this is going to be the white line outside, and then the inner one. Sorry about that. I'm going to hit D for dimension. Dimension this outside. Make it 0 0.02. That looks then up to me inside. Make that. Let's make a point two, point two. All right, now we want to go up from here, make a white line, then go straight up, and then cross the back, and then one right across the very bottom. If I'm, I can move my hands out of the way. At the very bottom here is white line here. It's actually antennas for the phone. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna go ahead and grab a rectangle tool. Going to come from one side, phone, go across. Connect to the other line. Remember, these are uh, projected lines, projected geometry from uh, the phone onto the sketch because it's not physically on there. Um, go ahead, hit the dimension tool. Make this. Uh, let's make it 0 0.05. That'll be thin enough. That looks good. Um, and from for now on, I'm going to be guesstimating. I don't feel like bringing up my uh, caliper here and figuring out all these. Uh, dimensions here. We'll go 0.5 on here. That looks good. Get my rectangle tool again. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to set it up here. Go straight down. And get in here. Look close right about there. That should be good. Alright. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and get our dimension tool. This side from here, and it's 0.05, I go 0.05 divided by 2. So I don't have to do the mathematical computation on that. Make this 0.05. Now that's equal with that. Alright, so now we have that line down there. And I'm going to go ahead and make the one across the bottom. And connect. And D for dimension once again. Connect the lines, 0.05 again for the dimension. And I'm going to make this 0.5. And go ahead and make this 0.5. Okay. So now we have that there. Um, just for future reference, too, you can just dimension it from there because uh, if it appears, but in some cases, if it the line is hidden, it's very hard to get that. That's why I do project it. It's just good practice to do that. And that way, I did shorthand. I just really just clicked on the line and made it do it in one step but it is a lot easier if you do it in multiple steps alright so now we have everything going on here but if you can see this is not one complete part here I actually got uh, I want to open that up in the center there and also down here I don't need this little uh, thing going on over here I want all this one uh, one cutaway so one way of doing this is I'm actually going to go ahead and get myself it's called a trim tool it's up in the modifier Grab that, so it looks like a little pair of scissors, and when I go ahead here and click on the line and click there, it gets rid of this, these lines here and cuts off at the next intersection. So I don't want that. I'm going to click on that part. That part. So now it's all one, one geometry. And you can see it turned all purple, meaning that it is fully defined. And then when I do cut away at some parts, it's going to make it undefined because um, I'm getting rid of a, maybe a dimension of some sort or something I did there. That's all right though because it will keep the um, the dimension that it had before. So it might you know, it might go in and out a little bit here or there, but it should still be the same dimensions. All right, so we have everything set for the camera here. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, finish the sketch as always and turn it from the 2D into the 3D. Now that you have it in this orientation as you can see the sketch is kind of layered on top of it and you're wondering how am I going to wrap this to this well it's actually kind of simple so what we're going to do is we're going to go over here slide over to your emboss tool click on it now you're getting the option do you want to add or subtract and now I'm going to engrave so I'm going to click on that now it's going to ask me well what do you want to engrave well I want to engrave this portion here and I'm going to engrave this portion here and I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to engrave that portion there. Well, it says, okay, well, it's, you got that, right? 
but I want to wrap it to a face, it's not flat. And if I do this, it's just going to be just like I'm cutting away on a flat surface. So I want it to be curved and even across the whole curved end of the back of the phone. So I'm going to click this check mark here. Now it's going to ask, well, what face do you want to wrap it to? I want to wrap it to this face right here. Click on that. Now it's going to show you red lines to how it's curving it across. And as you can see, it wraps it to the phone. And the final and last thing it's going to ask you, well, what's the depth? Well, in my previous one, I did 0 .000. One, and that is just enough that it cuts into it, gives us lines, but it is not deep enough to actually affect the actual uh, depth of the phone, at least to the to the eye. It's a it's a minute difference. So I'm gonna go ahead and say okay. It's gonna take a little bit of time. It's gonna work out what's going on here, and there you are. Now you have an engraved surface, and you barely see it now. But I'm gonna go ahead and color that color that in there, and I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. Um, this uh, this sketch here right here, this uh, plane is what they call it. Um, it's kind of in my way, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on it. Right click, and it doesn't look like it has its properties. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and go down here into our tree, and there's a little check mark on the visibility. Uncheck it. Now it's disappeared. So we move on and start coloring things in here. Go ahead and click on that line there. Um, I'm going to hold control and then I'm going to click here. And now when I go ahead and try and change the color of this, I'm going to change the white because that's kind of like white color it's got going on over here. Uh, we'll actually make it the default because it's kind of grayish white. You know what? I don't like that. I kind of like to. It's got like a washed out white. Let's do that again. And. bit better. Um, black for the outside here. So we'll go ahead and find our glossy black again. And for the center, we'll get like a uh, glass looking thing going on here. Let's go in here and let's go to like a... Let's go get a nice in the center. Okay. So now you got your phone going on here, and now you actually you get somewhat of what the phone looks like. Obviously, it's a bright green. We're going to change that. That's just there for looks. Um, last of all, things I'm going to do, I mean, we, I, can, I can go really anal on this and uh, do it, but I'm going to go ahead and put the HTC logo on the bottom half of this phone. So the camera's over here. Screen's here. We're going to go ahead and pick our um, sketch here again. Use the handle, create sketch. Uh, we're going to go ahead and make uh, the inner screen in here because it's a little bit smaller. Go like that, turns green, hit D for dimension. I'm going to go ahead and make it from here on out. I'm going to go 0.1 on either side. And we're going to make it, I think, like 0 0.2, 0 0.3 on either end of the top and bottom. Kind of going freehand here. All right. Now, uh, Bottom actually should be a little bit bigger, so go 0.4, so I can have your depression buttons. And we're going to put the HTC little logo down there, and it's actually letters. And um, engraving is really actually meant for the letters um, in most cases. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to find our text editor here. You get like a little crosshair, kind of click in the. I believe it goes from the bottom right. But you can always move it. So I'll go ahead and get in the general location. I'll bring up a little box. We'll put HTC. Do all caps. I know this isn't exactly what the logo looks like, but it's close enough for me. I'm gonna go ahead and hit the escape button. I'm kind of kind of zoom in on here, get it where I want it, kind of. That's way off to where I want it. The yellow handles are what we're gonna be using to mention it. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring this down here. All right. I'm going to hit the check mark because I'm actually going to do that special thing I did before where I get what this is defined at. Accept. And then I'm going to go ahead and do this. This is 
2.3. Alright. So now what I can do now is I can go ahead and double click on this. And I'm going to say in parentheses 2.6 divided by 2 subtract 0.3 divided by 2. And I could I could go in there and just say we have 1.15 and do that, but I mean we'll let it do its work here and hit the green check mark and it should center that right in the center for you. I got that. I can go ahead and put the house and the little I sorry the house here for home and the arrow here. Not really gonna be looking into doing that right now. Just gonna get the logo going on here. So go ahead, we're gonna go ahead and hit the finish sketch button here. Going to get your uh, we can cut or it's a flat surface so we can go ahead and just do extrude function on here and extrude and we'll go and cut and that becomes 0 0.0001 and hit OK and now we have a screen here we can go ahead and put that there and we'll make that a uh, Let's see, uh, let's see a window on the W's. Glass G for this. Trying to find some type of material that go in there that look somewhat like it should be. Yeah, I'm not really finding anything really where if you have some type of glass or there we go alright and then we'll go ahead and we'll color in the H and T HTC It is a little bit tricky sometimes when you start to get in a little closer and the dimensions are finer. Um, mouse doesn't really want to work with you, especially with, like I said, my scenario with mine right now is a little bit pain in the butt because I'm working with three different monitors here and it wants to figure out that one of them is like, you know, it's just one big one because I use the things called NVIDIA surround or something like that. Alright, so now I'm going to go in here and I'm going to go ahead and click on the part itself. And I'm going to go ahead and click on here. And we're going to make it for the dark green and we're going to switch it right over to something cool. Let's get like aluminum because I believe that's what's made out of. And let's do like a flat one. That looks like my phone. I can go ahead and go more into it, put the camera up here, but that's just another cut or an emboss, just like we've learned before. Um, and go ahead and go in the bottom of here and put your micro USB port on the bottom. It's another cut. What I really want to do with this phone is just kind of get overview of all the tools that are going to be different. So we really covered a lot here. If you didn't notice, we actually went through a lot. We did engraving, we did um, embossing, we, we did curvature. We use different things, projecting and multi-plane uh, operations. Um, the only thing we didn't do was uh, really a, a flow here. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm make a case out of it. So um, this video is wrapping up right about now. And um, I'm going to actually take this phone and put it into a case. And we'll show you how to do that.